Hi, I'm Amy, the roaming historian, and one of the things I love most is traveling. And I also, though, when I'm traveling, I like to travel light. I only really want to carry on. It doesn't matter if I'm gone for five days or 50. I want a tr just to have a carry on. I like to be able to get and go. But at the same time, I also like my products. I, I like to have my beauty products, my creams, my uh, makeup and everything with me so that I'm always, you know, feeling my best, happy. And sometimes those two aren't conducive, but I found uh, me a lot of little tricks over the years to figure out how to carry as much with me as I would need if I was at home and had my full arsenal of what I wanted versus on the go trying to compact. So here are some of my tips. One of the things that I recommend highly are to you know, when you're the next time you're at Sephora or department store, you can also buy these on Amazon. Get the little, the you know, ask for a little sample of something, whatever it may be. These are wonderful for your creams. You can fit, I mean, as far as like an eye cream goes, this is enough to last you well over a month, if not two months. Um, but you can easily fit. Now, this way I can carry a night moisturizer versus a day moisturizer. I can put a lot of SPF in this. Um, I can just have different ones. And they're so tiny that they just, you know, they fit much easier. Of course, we can buy travel sizes of our stuff. But have you looked at those? I mean, a lot of them are still quite bulky. They're like this big around. Um, and they take up too much space, especially if you're trying to just have one little makeup bag that you're fitting everything in. So these... You can put, I mean, look at it, you can't even see it. I've got, <laughs> I've got it in my fist and you can you can barely see it. You can just throw it in there. Another thing that works really well is a contact lens case. So contact lens cases, the wells on these are deep enough that they can hold a good amount of cream. They can hold your liquid foundation. They can hold liquid concealer. Um, anything liquid that you want where, you know, sometimes it's hard, especially with foundation. Foundation is one of those things. Now, I use a stick for traveling, a stick foundation. But, you know, if you're trying to get you know, a little foundation, sometimes you can't find travel sizes of the one you love. Um, they just come in maybe an ounce or, uh, you know, or, or bigger size. So this is easy. You pump some pumps in there, fill it up, fill up one of the wells. There's your foundation. You can do the same thing with your concealer. You can put other things in there. Um, now, when it comes down to it, though, do try, when it's for makeup, do try to get the little travel sizes. And a lot of these times, these are free gifts with purchase. So whenever I get them, I just throw them in. Or when I see that some, you know, some uh, a, a brand that I'm going to buy is going to have a free gift with purchase, I buy it and whatever it is that I normally wear from them. And then I take the little samples, you know, the little tiny blushes like this or the little bronzers and keep them all. That way I can easily get my primer, my mascara, my bronzer, my blush, eyeshadows even. I also, you know, I've invested in brushes that are retractable. So, you know, now I have a good powder brush, but then I can just put it back in there and it makes a nice cylinder. I don't have to worry about it getting everything messy. Same thing, a little brush, blush brush slash, you know, kabuki brush. Another thing, you know, obviously some things you're going to need a bigger size of, like my contact lens cleaner. But this is going in my Ziploc bag that I'm going to have for through TSA because it's a liquid. So I do make sure that, you know, I buy the travel size. If I'm going to be somewhere, though, for over a week when this is going to be more than I need, you know, or not enough, and I'm going to need more than that, I go buy myself a, a full size, you know. Even if I have to throw it out before I fly home, not a big deal. It's so much easier. And honestly, the full size are just a slightly bit more expensive than the travel size anyways. So, you know, it's, it's great. And that way you get to also see a new pharmacy in a new country maybe. And it's a wonderful experience. Um, other things though, you can, you know, and I do recommend next time you're at a department store and you're trying stuff on, you're buying something, ask them, do you have any little samples? Almost always, the bigger companies, the bigger beauty houses will give you. This is enough eye cream and this little guy, this will last me an entire trip. Face cream, this will last me a couple days, or I get the little packets, especially when I'm 
doing a quick trip, like a, a trip I have coming up. I'm just going to be gone for a few days. Uh, so these are wonderful because I can use them, throw away the packet that night, use it, throw away the packet, so on and so forth. Same thing with serums because, I, you know, I need all my serums. I need all my lotions, potions, you know, to go. And then lastly, you're probably wondering, what is that tablet she's holding up, right? It looks like maybe an Alka-Seltzer or something. This is actually a washcloth. What it is, is these are the like washcloth pills that you can buy. They're for camping usually, or they'll say, and they can't reconstitute with water. And so they're wonderful, especially in a lot of European countries, they don't have washcloths. Uh, you know, you go to hotels and there's just a hand towel and a bath towel. If you're like me and you're wearing makeup, you don't want to put that all over when you wash your face at night. So I buy these little, I have these little caplets. Now I usually will bring a towel or a washcloth too. But the thing with the washcloth is I certainly can't use it the night before I'm about ready to move locations because it'd be, still be wet. So this way I have something, it's easy. It reconstitutes, you know, I think it's like $10 for a hundred of them. And then I've got enough with me to go and I can, you know, easily take off my makeup. So those are just a few of my beauty tips for packing light and uh, getting ready to go. Happy travels!